more film related interviews reviews and content please like and subscribe to pooja talwar you can also follow me on twitter and on instagram shefali i don't know why this feels personal it is not because i'm a fan of yours but it's basically we are the same age you have just reinstated that there can be nothing stopping you and how you can constantly keep yourself relevant against the odds so many many congratulations as a pehla reaction kaisa tha uh my first reaction was are you serious <laughs> yeah uh that was my reaction i was screaming and i kept asking the same question uh, that and then you know i was talking to this friend who informed me about it and she was like yeah why is it so difficult for you to believe it but uh, i couldn't believe it i just i was like oh my god like this is unreal and i think it still hasn't sunk in but why was it so difficult for you to believe it ah uh, i don't know you know when uh, when i did delhi crime 1 and when the show was nominated i was a little disappointed when i was and very rarely do i think i've done good enough a job to be nominated um so i was like i didn't get nominated there i won't get nominated this time and i and i thought that the nominations had been announced and all that i didn't know anything about it so i was really surprised i was i was really surprised and shocked wow but now you do realize na aapke naam ke sath jud gaya emmy nominated and uske baad emmy jab milega to the emmy uh, winner shefali yeah. shayu you know but this is also international validation i would say because a lot of people aspire for the coveted international emmys and for us also it's a moment of pride because india because pehle hum log dekh rahe the korea ko mile ja raha tha ab hamare apno ko mil raha hai but for you personally as an actor what does it mean you said it right it's a validation you know it's also a validation to believe that what i went out to do with vartika was right my understanding my translation of her was right she is relevant she is relatable and she is inspiring and she's real she's as real as can be and it worked so i must have done something right but also the fact is big delhi clan you know you have been doing films like we had bil dhadakne do you such a relatable character but with delhi crime you just proved it to the world like you ain't seen nothing yet you know and after that 2020 you've seen there's no stopping shikali sha do you think that people woke up too late it take a but took a vartika for them to realize what you were capable of yes i was like there i durust hai i mean seriously i have not worked so much in my entire life that i worked in that 20 uh, 21 or 22 hmm. you know 21 so yesterday or uh, yesterday kya last year all of The, those six projects released uh yeah. but i was like finally so it was really like yeah it did take for what the cup it did that changed delhi crime changed my life it changed my life professionally uh it changed the way i worked uh i think it was a it's a complete learning curve for me and it's been a growth so but what what do you think i mean the thing is it is you it is the same person that i'm talking to who was the same person as i said biggest fan of riya from monsoon wedding what do you think it took people so long or were, were they just boxing you in a certain box not realizing what this wonderful actor was capable of yes i was boxed because i played uh, much older than my age at I, i i was young and i played a really old woman and i played mother to an actor who was older than me and then after that i was just a mother to the actor or actress who was probably my age or older than me and i didn't want to do that uh so i waited and waited and waited and um uh i used to get appreciated i mean i'm lucky i got this appreciated i got the respect but it wasn't translating into work also the very fact is that only you know there was a hero there was a heroine there was a villain there was a hero ka friend there was a heroine ki maa that that's it uh but story started changing and there was no one who was just a character actor 
it became an ensemble cast. And then came a time where women-oriented films started. You know, where you talk about a Tumhari Sulu, or you talk about a dirty picture, or lipstick under my burqa, or Badhai Ho. I mean, these are all women-oriented films. And, uh, and then OTT came, which had a burst of all these people who were always amazing actors, but never got their due, due because they, the people didn't know what to do with them. There weren't roles suitable enough for them. But OTT gave us like, you know, that platform where so many of us started playing central characters. So yeah, it's, I mean, I guess that kind of, that kind of probably made some makers believe that, okay, she can be a lead, a parallel lead. She can be one of the main cast, I assume. Also, Shifali, what's really interesting is that, you know, you're a wife, you are a mom, you are working now. And what Madhuri Dixit had said, I may not be young as the rest around me, but I come with a lot of experience. So what would you say? What has experience taught you? Yes, I do have the experience, but with uh, young adults, that logic doesn't work. So I should have the experience enough to tell them and then step back and say, I am here if you fall, come back to me. You don't want to listen to me? Fine. Please go ahead, run, fall down, come back to me. You know, so I think that also comes with experience. Earlier on, I would try to push it down their throats and this is what I feel and this is the right thing that you should do. I don't do that anymore. I tell them what I think is right and wrong. And then I say, take it. I mean, I'm, if this is what you want to do, it's your choice. Although the fact now the industry is very receptive to, you know, working moms and mothers and women this age. Do you think it's very different from the time when you were just married and were just a new mom? Absolutely. And if you were an actress and you got married, then you stopped being an actress, which was really sad. You know, either or ways. But it's not just about actors. I mean, today, most of the women I know are working. And even those women who are not going out to work are doing probably the toughest job in the world, which is looking after a house and looking after their family and their kids. It's like a thankless job, which, is, which has no public holidays and it has no salary. Exactly. You which know. you turn into when you come home. Yeah. Yeah. But I think it's also because I, a lot of women choose to turn into that. I choose it. I can easily say I don't want to do anything. But I only sometimes feel this love for my children. And then I'm like, I've come back, but I will cook for you. Some nonsense like that. Oh, so, okay. yeah. Mom guilt is real. Abhi bhi hota hai waise. Kabhi kabhi. Haan, it's not guilt. It's love. <laughs> <laughs> but Shefali, talking about Vartika again, did you find some resonance between her and you? Because I'm sure because you invested so much into her, I'm sure somewhere they must have merged also. Na? Absolutely. Uh, there is a lot similar between Vartika and me. Uh, I think she's brutally honest and so am I. Uh, there is no facade to her. She is conscientious. She's consumed by her work. She has a sense of right and wrong, but she also has the ability to try and understand the other person's point of view. Um, and yes, she's known as a strong woman, but I think, I, I, I mean, Vatika and Shivali are very vulnerable people. And that's why, you know, particularly Vartika, because she is vulnerable, because it affects her so much, is why she decides to take it in her hands and solve it. And also, I think one of the points that is very similar is that we both kind of shut ourselves emotionally when there's a crisis and just get on to what do we need to do? Whatever I feel, I'll feel later. Right now, I just have to solve this. So, yeah. Okay. Yeah. And looking at the brilliant filmography, darlings, you were just like, I and mean, there's Chalka, there was humans, there's a lot more also coming. I know you're spoiled for choice because a lot of somebody actually told me now roles are being written with her in mind, you know. So what is it like? Has Who is this somebody I want to meet? I really people in the industry saying or and writers saying that, you know, you I mean, 
you know, this you, this Tapu, it's that age, you know, I mean, you are driving the narratives through, I mean, as I said, here is the experience of a life lived and who understand the characters. And then in the younger ones, you have people like Alia as well, because it's just phenomenal what she's achieved. Amazing, yeah. So, but process badla hai kuch abhi, abhi, or is it like, that? I know the hunger is there, the hunger is there, but process and method kuch badla hai. Um, process for me as an actor, oh, hmm. I, I completely changed the way I work after DC, during DC. Uh, it got out another side of me, which I'm glad. I mean, I now when I look back, I think, what was I doing uh, till now? You know, I, I've always maintained that I'm a spontaneous actor. But what has happened with DC is the nichodoing and swallowing of a script. You know, completely just swallowing the entire script. Know what happens second to second. And going through that whole thing mentally to figure out and chalk out from where does she start, where does she go, what is she feeling, what is she dealt with right now, etc., etc., etc. And then when the camera, when the director says action, I forget all of it and I have no clue what I do in front of the camera. I have absolutely no clue. And mostly, no, almost always, two of my takes aren't the same. Yeah. So it's, it's, I think that kind of really, so now when I'm, get a script I love the process of just chewing that script also like I like I rip every sentence every word discuss it a million times try and find out why why does she say this and not this and I think it shows somewhere it does absolutely does like I mean you can't box Shifali Shah's brilliance and all those people who were earlier, I mean, acha validation hai. You know, someone should just go up to them and say, I told you so. You know, that <laughs> moment. What would Shifali at 20 would not have believed? I mean, today. If I you, wouldn't have believed. I, I First, I wouldn't have ever thought that OTT karke kuch hoga. Which will be like a, a resurrection for actors. Uh, I would never believe that which I think most of the actors would never believe that at the age of 40, you'd be playing lead. And uh, I, I don't think anyone would, I, I definitely didn't even think of the Emmys. I mean, of course, there is this thing of, I one day want to be nominated and I hope I win. And just the nomination is so big, but I never, I never imagined it. Awesome. So what was the reaction at home as a husband and kids? I mean, so uh, Apwipal wasn't at home. So I called him and he was like, oh my God, wow, that's fab. Then I tried calling my agent. He didn't take my call. Uh, very nice. And uh, then I called my son uh, who's in London and he bumped my call. And yeah, twice, thrice, he just kept cutting the call. And then uh, he said, what is it? So I said, I need to talk to you for two minutes. It's important. So he called me. I said, I'm doing a video call. I need to see your face. So he's come on the video call. Nose is showing. Ear is showing. Can't see the full face. I said, can you show me the full face, please? Yeah, mom. What do you want? What is it? So I said, I got nominated for Best Actress for Delhi Crime Team. Oh, that's really cool, mom. Congratulations. I said, for the International Emmys. What the? <laughs> <laughs> His reaction was like that. And my other son, though, is he's too cute and he's too funny. He has a brilliant sense of humor. So when I called him and I told him, he, I said, uh, I, uh, you know, got nominated for the international Emmys. He turned around and said, how much money will you get? I was like, Bita, mujhe nomination mila, woi badi baat hai. Why would I get money for it? <laughs> this, this, is this is this generation for you. This is crazy. And then finally my agent called and he was just laughing on the phone and he said, there is justice, Chef, there is justice. You know, that's why I said you make, it feels personal because there are times when, you know, at this age, one feels low seeing influencers and these younger ones. That's why I do have the experience, but maybe someday Shifali Shah is my hero. Oh, so <laughs> sweet. 
But do you and Vipul discuss films at home or this is just like no 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 we discuss films at home. I mean we are both avid film watchers. Every night we have to see a show or a film or whatever, and we discuss it absolutely. Discuss it. We love it. And even with our work, like uh, you know, when Vipul writes or works on a script, I'm probably one of the first ones who reads his book. He gives it to me to read. I'm one of the first ones he wants to. He shows the you know rough cut to. Uh, when I get offered something, I discuss it with him. That do you think it's a good idea for me to do it? Finally, it's our individual decision, but we both want to know what the other thinks. So before we wrap up, quick takes. Describe Shifali Shadi actor in one word. Honest. Are you superstitious? And if you are, what is it your superstitions about? So one is touch wood, and one is thoti thoti. Because मुझे लगता है नजर लगती है. Oh, I agree. Yeah. Is there any other actor other than yours whose process and you know craft that you're really envious? I'm not envious, but I'm I'm like I'm awed by the way certain people like. I mean, you know, another example of a of an actor who's come and become the lead at so late in life, Olivia Colman, and. What an actor! Like wow, and I, I mean, Meryl Streep is God. You see Kate Blanchett. You see Helen Mirren. Like, what are these actors? I want to go there and be a fly on the wall on the set and see how they do they work. कैसे करते हैं ये लोग? So it's like I mean, I don't envy them. I just wish I could be on that set as an assistant director. मतलब hundredth assistant. Who just gets coffee or something? I don't mind. So we are just waiting for, and the Emmy goes to. So oh my God, let we are manifesting it here. It is with you. The first reaction, kya hoga? Kya ko diya jo? Um, either I'll cry or I'll scream very loudly, which will not be a very politically correct, graceful thing to do. But that's me. I am waiting. I want to hear the latter. I am waiting for this to happen. All the very best. More thank powerful. you. You know I'm a certified fan girl, so like, thank you, thank hug. you, thank you. Big hug. Bye. All the best. Bye. Bye. If you've liked this interview, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram.